Hello, my name is Matt Max. You might have heard the news. The universe is a hologram and we're all living in a projection and naturally people are freaking out and think they are living in the Matrix and that aliens control everything. But this is one of these cases where scientists and normal people are just using the same words to describe different things. It's like the word theory, where normal people think a theory means we don't know anything about it, whereas when a scientist talks about a theory, it means the best known thing. The same is true with the word projection and the word hologram, so I thought I might clear things up a little bit. Now, look at this awesome thing. This is a map. It's a map of Westeros, actually. But it doesn't really matter what this map is about. It's a map. It is one of the most basic things, and we use it almost every day. What is special about it? This thing has two dimensions, X and Y, right? Now that is very interesting, because a planet is a three-dimensional object, like this orange. How do we get from a three-dimensional object to a two-dimensional map? We cannot just take a piece of paper and wrap it around our planet, because then we have creases, and we don't have creases in a map. So that doesn't work. That is not how we actually get maps. Now, we could also just peel the orange, and, uh, well, then we would be left with a peel, right? All right, now we have a different problem. So now we have the peel. And if you flatten the peel and put it on a piece of paper, right, we have, let's assume it's one piece, suddenly we have holes. There are gaps, right? It's not like this map where it's, you don't have gaps. Here you have gaps. So clearly you cannot just peel the surface off a three-dimensional object and get a map. That is also not how it works. So how is it done? How do you get from a three-dimensional object to a two-dimensional map? You do it with projections. So how do we actually project things? Well, in reality, it's done with math, but I can show you what a projection is very easily. We need a light source like this, and then we need something that actually casts a shadow. So let's say this bottom of a soda bottle right here would be the bottom half of a planet, and let's say that those dark spots I painted on there with a marker would be continents, okay? What happens when I hold this underneath our light source? What happens is that we get the shadow of our soda bottle and we see the dark spots, we see the continents. And I can actually take the marker and trace the outlines of the continents. Allow me to do that really quickly. Suddenly, we've taken this three-dimensional object and by projecting the shadow of this three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional surface, we were able to trace the outlines of the continents. Like this. It's a little bit hard to see on the camera, but these are the outlines of these continents on this three-dimensional object. We took a three-dimensional object and we made a two-dimensional projection of it. Suddenly, we have our map, we have our continents on our map, and we turned a three-dimensional object into a two-dimensional map. Scientists would say, this map we made is the two-dimensional projection of this three-dimensional object. This is what scientists mean by projection. They mean that you take an object that has, for example, three dimensions, and then you express the information in this three-dimensional object in two dimensions instead. Now that is easy for us to get a, wrap our head around because we are three-dimensional creatures, but the cool thing is the same math that you can use to get from this to this can be used to get from a four-dimensional space into a three-dimensional space. You can take a four-dimensional space and you can project it 
into a three-dimensional object. And a three-dimensional projection is also called a hologram. So what scientists mean when they say the universe is a hologram, the universe is a projection, it means that we as three-dimensional creatures that perceive three dimensions, but in actuality we have four dimensions or even more than that. And what we see is just the projection, like this is the projection of this, of this four or ten or whatever dimensional space into three dimensions. And there is no alien race actually doing the projecting, it is just because we are three-dimensional and we can only perceive three dimensions ourselves. My name is B. Max. I hope I cleared things up. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.